bring you back again and I can't say why so I close my mind and desperately try to know how your soft voice and your tiny words and your smoking books and your flock of I'm Anita I'm going under the name West of the Fierce I've been playing music since I was about 16 this project came about after me and the grown-ups broke up. I sort of, I had a break from music for about a year and I got asked to perform in a group performance at the Hamer Hall and it reignited any sort of passion and want that I had to play music. I started writing songs again, which was really good and cathartic on lots of levels. I decided to go to America and I found a manager there, her name's Alana Lee and she's one of the pioneers of Vivo and she worked for Universal and we, we started contacting people and very shortly Kevin Agunas who works out of Sound City and, and owns part of Sound City responded to the call out that we made and he was really enthusiastic about the song Colours. So I flew to LA and I was intending to record the album. But when I got there, the direction of the songs wasn't clear enough. So we decided that I'd write. And it was then that, just by chance, Jonathan Dreyfus was there and he, he came for a week. I, I held him back and I stole him from his girlfriend and we kind of wrote together and that was a really great educational process. And when I got back to Australia, I wrote what we believed to be the right songs for the album. Very quickly, True Music picked me up. It's an indie label, really great people, family. We decided that we were gonna do an EP just what, in the gap that I'm not here. We have five songs. The Howl is a rock song, essentially. It's based on the want to sort of cry out to the world and tell them that I'm ready and you just gotta give me time. Uh, one of the other songs is Volcano. Uh, Volcano is still kind of delves into that rock mishmash. It's beautiful, it's, it's, to me it reminds me of rain or something like that. Then we've got Bird, which is a song that I wrote while I was in America and it has a totally different vibe to what I initially had thought. It sort of reminds me a bit of Tom Waitsy, the opening to Black Books kind of thing. Then we have January, which is an old song that I have re-recorded and we've made it uh, quite relaxed. It used to be a duet with a really talented um, young singer called Sam Lawrence and we made the decision to make it just a regular non-duet song. The final song is Colours, we've re-recorded it. It's just pretty much a better version of what we had. And, vibing more as Jonathan would like to say. There's five give, give or take members in the band and somehow it just gels really well. Hot House, the people that work there, Craig and Jez, have made sounds that I didn't even know were possible. It's been pretty tough and pretty uphill. I feel like this has been the hardest that, that I've worked and it has a lot to do with the people that have been supportive. So I'm really curious to see how this all turns out. I hope you enjoy Less of the Fierce's new EP and support Australian music. Oh, hello cat, come here.